What's up all my makers, April Dunham here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can create an interactive timeline and SharePoint list with zero code. I'll show you how to go from this to this. But first, here's the intro. This timeline functionality that we're seeing here is all made possible thanks to SharePoint list formatting. I know I've talked about SharePoint list formatting in the past, but I really can't say enough about how powerful list formatting is. And what makes it so powerful and great is the SharePoint dev list formatting PNP GitHub repo. There's a very vibrant and active PNP community that's actively contributing hundreds of different samples for list and column formatting. So what I'm going to be showing you today, I can't take any personal credit for. It's actually a community sample that someone recently posted. I saw it on Twitter and I thought this was really cool because I know in the past I've actually had to custom code some timeline functionality for SharePoint for clients. So I know there's lots of different use cases where you might want to have this. Now all we have to do is go out to the SharePoint PNP repo, copy the JSON for the sample, paste it in, and we have a fully functioning timeline app. To get to this GitHub repo, you're going to go to github.com, whack PNP, whack SP dev list formatting. Of course, I'll paste this URL in the video notes too. The sample that I'm going to be showing today is a view sample. The way that these are organized is by either a column sample, meaning you apply the formatting on an individual column, or a view sample, meaning you apply the formatting on the entire view. So if we go into view samples, you'll see that these are all in alphabetical order. So if we scroll down a bit, You'll see this new format that was created about four days ago called Timeline Format. So to use one of these, you'll select the folder of the format that you want to use. You'll see this nice summary of what this particular format does. It's also going to show you the view requirements. So this is important to know because these have dependencies on having certain column types and names. This one only requires a title and a description. So what this is going to do is it's going to use the title for the timeline date and that header, and it's gonna use a description for the contents within like we're seeing. And this awesome sample was created by Tetsuo Kawahana. I am so sorry if I butchered your name, uh, but kudos to you for creating this great sample. Now to use this, again, I said we can do this with zero code. So this is all using some JSON in the back end. We don't have to customize or know anything about JSON to use this. We'll just click on the JSON file. And let's select this raw button so we can just get just the code. And we're going to just copy this and this is all we have to know to use the sample is copy this formatting and go back to our SharePoint list. And you see what I did here is I went in, I've added a column. So I'm using the title field that's already created for you when you create any SharePoint list. And I've just added a multi-line of text column and I've named that description so that the formatting will work. And I went in and I've populated it with some info. So in this case, I'm using the timeline of Power Apps and Teams integration. So I have November 2019 and some text. March and August. Now, to apply this formatting, all we need to do is go up into the all items option. So that's how you select and navigate between your views. And you'll see an option for format current view. If we click that, we'll be taken into the formatting panel and we have a few options here. So there's some out of the box formatting where you don't have to paste in any JSON that you can do like alternating rows. But if we wanna use the sample, we'll go down and click this advanced mode option. This is going to give us a text box where we can paste in our sample from the PMP repo. And now this is where the magic happens. All we have to do is click save. Our sample is automatically applied so we can just close out of this panel. And now we have this nice interactive timeline. So I see these three dots are the items that I have. I can click on one of them. I see the description highlighted here and I can navigate and click through the timeline. And again, this is what's great about SharePoint list formatting. We have this rich repo. All we have to do is copy and paste and we get a lot of great functionality. So next time that you need some kind of timeline functionality, go out and grab this sample and start using it in your SharePoint list. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you in the next video.